Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody. And... Hello, everybody, once again. Hey, 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 hey. I'm hoping you all had a fabulous weekend past and looking for this weekend coming. But hey, I had a good Mother's Day. I hope you all had a good Mother's Day to those who are truly mothers and those who are feeling mothers and those who children look to as their mother. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. It takes a whole village to raise even one child. Okay, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Yes, but we're going to get into this candy and the gang. Gang, gang. Won't you come and hang with candy and the gang? All right, yeah. I'm mad, y'all. I'm mad. I told y'all I was going to get on candy behind. All right, now I live in Atlanta, born and raised, okay? And I've been shouting her out. Out, been doing videos here and there when she's doing what she needs to do and I'm giving her the free promo did let me see three or four videos on candy and gang 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 okay did it okay and how about I didn't even get a shout out I didn't get a little uh, toiletry I didn't get no little goodies no baggies or anything and I did her show I did a review okay but she gave people out of town uh, stuff gave a few here i'm like damn is it because i don't come on screen is it because i don't come on screen because the sister can't come on screen but then i met, met how to wear lipstick I, you know i gotta put in my teeth i got um make sure i'm correct now i don't want to do all that i don't want to do all that because you know this is how i am and i start throwing my teeth at don one and candy okay all right don't get a visual because it, it kind of made me chuckle too and it's like ooh. <laughs> Okay, but I was hot, pissing, mad. But anyway, I'm going to get over it. I'm going to get over it, and I'm going to do what I make it do. Okay, so we're going to talk about this last finale episode. Okay, of Candy and the Gang. All right, I was feeling that because they were going back to the days of, we call it good times. You remember when Thelma and um, JJ and Valon, they went all those foxy fly clothes back in the 60s and the 70s girl i was feeling i said where my fro where my little puff set okay but anyway it just is what it is they gave me that feel and i was so glad torn had put it together even though don juan and his i don't know he always say torn always trying to be sashaying around and getting people together and all this and third and being extra but i don't know what the hell wrong with don juan this last episode yeah don juan i'm gonna get on youtube because you should have put some treats in my box. But that I would have got on your ass regardless. If you would have put some treats in my box. And sent it to my mail station. Okay. But you know you were so wrong. Trying to get Torin together. Trying to say Torin don't have this. Torin don't have that. But y'all always want him. To come and do an event for y'all. And he be doing this shit free. I'm like nah Torin I need you to step up. And, and, and claim your. Um. Uh, Claim the fame, okay? If you're going to be an event planner, you need to get paid. And technically, uh, what's his name? Pa Patrick? No, they want Patrick. That Patrick. Uh, Philip, he should have had some people to help you out. He should have said, you know, I'm just going to give you some extra people. You know what I'm saying? He, you, he, don't do it after the fact is what I'm saying. You knew the boy was struggling. You know he was trying to pull it all together and get it together. But he knew how to get the piece of resistance out there okay which was that vibe background which was the um some guy 
that used to be on, I think, uh, Candy Choreographer or something like that. I don't know what his name was, but he was at the end singing and stuff with his two ladies on the side. And they were getting down, okay? I was waiting on them to do the Funky Chicken or something. Well, you know, the Soul Train line. I, I was feeling it myself, okay? I'm like, no, that's what I'm talking about. But it had Torian to get shit like that together. Because my thing like this, y'all had the vendors, the food vendors. They should have been serving drinks and alcohol or, you know, they little pastries or their little claim the fame food that they wanted everybody to talk about you know what i'm saying because i think what's his name uh brian had his egg rolls out there somebody was filling in at his table but he was getting it done yes he was and tall you need to be ashamed of yourself i know you didn't ask 50 percent of that man's company when he just trying to come up i mean good gracious Todd. hopefully fam i got it wrong but did y'all hear it did y'all see it last night did it say Brian got a deal with Todd. And I'm like, damn, why you didn't get the deal with Candy? Because Todd is shady as hell. Okay, look how he got the old LG. I, I, he still ain't got no generator. You see what I'm saying? He still ain't got no generator. And I ain't coming to Candy in the game or uh, OLG until he get a generator. Okay? Because I might be there that one day and shit lights go out. And then I'm sitting up here waiting on my food and all this. I'm getting all the ambiance and I don't met everybody I need to met. I took photos and shit. And then I can't get my food. Now that's going to be an ass whooping right there. And I'm going to look for Todd to get that ass whooping too. Okay? Because I'm 54. He's not supposed to hit me. But I'm going you know, to look for him. Because I'm like, you cannot have a restaurant and not look up, look out for the what ifs. I mean, that's just poor, poor uh, sportsmanship and that's just poor management skills. Okay, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm ashamed of you, Philip, for not telling him. Look, if I am your uh, general manager and I say we need this, we need this. We need the um, we don't need no receipt pads. That's that's taking it way back in like Happy Days uh and, and Arnold's uh thing. We don't we need we need uh we call them uh laptops or lap something thingamajiggas y'all know what i'm talking about be ordering stuff on online but you be doing about a little pad okay that's what you need Todd. you need to upgrade all right you upgrading yourself i saw you over there trying to uh look good and this that and the third but that's uh real housewives of atlanta i'm gonna get to that i'm gonna get on your behind again too trying to sit up there talking about you got a condo in new jersey and just called ken and got her, your name on the house hell she had the house before she had you Todd. what you expect you already got a prenup Ain't you getting a lot in that? Now you want it all? You want the cream of the crop? You know what I'm talking about? Candy can have that. Who the hell want that? You need to sell it and go buy another piece of property up there. That can, I mean, Candy can go in and feel like at home. Hell, she don't want to go with nobody done laid. And damn, Candy, you bad too. Because you sitting up there sleeping on the same mattress that you done did other men with. Now, now that's just nasty and trash, okay? Now you need to get this shit straight. Go on out there to a mattress company and buy a, a, a mattress that you and Todd or Todd feel better about, okay? That Todd can feel better about. Because he, he kind of Todd is getting on my nerve around him. Then got a pool, redecorated pool, and got all that damn furniture in there. But uh, let me let's go all the way back way back when we ain't talking about um real housewives of line i skipped i skipped y'all know i go off for tangent sometime and it just be what it is but let's get back to the olg okay let's talk about olg well wolves help me out people <laughs> oh i got off the choo choo train i derailed hey let me get my let me put myself back up Let's back up on the choo choo train, uh, train track, okay. And we were talking about touring, yeah, okay. Touring here got that 70 vibe going on, you know. Everybody doing the funky chicken, we tried to do the funky chicken. Had Mama Joyce out there doing her little thing, and um, I don't know why they just don't make some with Mama Joyce them and Mama Joyce and her two sisters. Because, child, I would do reviews out my ass. You know what I'm saying? Because they just make me laugh. And on birth, it's just be tr she just gives me life. You know what I'm saying? I know the Lord give me life. So, I'm not disrespecting him in any way. But, I'm just saying, give me my entertainment. On birth, be giving me my entertainment. And her two sisters to boot. But, anyway. I think Tori did a fantastic job with what he had to work with. Okay, he had a pretty vision, he implemented it, and he, um, he capsulized the, um, assignment. So, I'm gonna say, A plus on that. We don't get, we don't give two shits about what, uh, Don Juan was saying. And trying to, you know, rile you up and just that in the third and, 
that wasn't even necessary. It really, really wasn't necessary. I wish they would have cut that out. Because Don Juan was doing too much. Just too much, okay? Then we go to Todd behind. Todd and Candy over there trying to see what Philip going to do. Is he going to stay with them? Is he going to move on and this, that, and the third? I'm like, move on, brother. Move on. You can keep your boyfriend here, though. I feel got on my damn nerve from the beginning to the end. Yeah, I just threw that picture in there because I just want to show y'all. You remember Portia? Yeah, that's the one in the left. You see, she she looked like she can't move. None of that. But now she just flossing her ass all across the screen for social media. And I got to do a video on that. Watch for it, okay? But anyway, I just thought that was cute when I was looking for pictures of the OLG gang and stuff. But, you know, Ken's pretty good. She always try to... Include people that she like into business adventures. And some people just can't get it. Some people just can't go along. You know with the road that she's traveling. And that's okay. Some people can't go where you, you're going. Okay. You can't take everybody. So we just leave that there. But anyway we're going back to. I was talking about uh, Flippily Jack Head. Todd. Tiny Todd Tucker. Yeah he was in his little. Dom Juan suit. Or. Um. I don't know what you would call him. I'm trying to think back in the day. What they used to call some of these people. He damn sure wasn't no chef. Okay. Um, I don't know. He just looked like a damn fool. In those clothes. Okay. And the afro as well. I don't think I can give him Mr. Goldfish shoes. Okay. I, that, and that, it gave me a little chuckle here and there. I liked it the Goldfish shoes. But I don't know what he thought. He thought he was at the player's ball. He thought he was Snoop Dogg or something like that. I'm like, no. I couldn't even get him Martin when Martin had tried to dress up. Um, like how they used to dress in the 70s and stuff. But Todd was, um, he was just drunk. It seemed like he was just drunk. And he was just missing like, all kind of cues and stuff like that. And when y'all had fired poor baby Rashad, I really thought y'all should have kept that. Like next business day. Or in a secluded area. Because y'all just fire him on the spot. In front of everybody. He looked embarrassed. The camera was all on him. And you he, you look like he looked like he will not cry. Alright Cannon you damn no better. And don't want you know. That ain't no HR type of representation. I'm like. Is it the only. Is it only me. That think that they should have an office. And be able to deal with difficult decisions and difficult employees behind closed doors. But we're still seeing them. But the whole rest of the restaurant employees don't have to hear it, see it, or be around it. I mean, that's just piss poor. That whole scene, I didn't like it. Because to me, I don't think HR would have been represented that way. How they did him. And how... Candy was reprimanded him like it was one of her children and not her employees. It just wasn't a good look. But I don't know if that's just television letting us pan into what a situation could be. And we just afforded the opportunity to see how it gets down. I think some, a lot of laws were broken. I'm just thinking. A lot of laws. A lot of HR laws were broke, broken in that scene. So... I didn't like it. It was piss poor right there. That was just a piss poor scene. Didn't like it. Candy should have did better. Uh, with trying to structure a way where what was said as hearsay. Because again, if Shardo did not tell everybody, you know, because he felt on the spot that he should have did it. It shouldn't have been approached that way. And you're taking Shandrika's word. Over his word, you should have gotten the Patreon that gave him the money. Or some evidence to that fact. Because the other two, when you're trying to get Shandrika, and you're trying to get Brandon, and all this other stuff, y'all had caught that on camera. So, I didn't like how that played out. I ain't gonna say, you know, some reper repercussions can come from that situation. But, it's plausible and it's possible. But like I said, I don't know really the fanatics, the uh, not the fanatics, but how you're supposed to play out a role in an HR functioning um, position. And you being a manager and having the GM around and you being the owner. How can that have happened that way? 
it's kind of confusing the hell out of me because usually when you get fired it's behind closed doors it's only you the manager not necessarily the owner but it's just you and the manager in a sense and what they heard and they know to be a factual thing versus you get one person to say one thing who's really not credible because you know Sandrika going around there doing every damn thing and then and causing a scene as well and then when we was watching watch what happens live watch what happens live last night when what's his name patrick um uh, philip dom dominique and chandrika was on they all raised their hands that they had stole and that's pretty much it what it is when you ain't pay they had stole some liquor they drunk some liquor on the clock at work and they didn't pay for it. Well, isn't that the same thing as theft of what Shardo did? Even though Shardo didn't steal from the company, but he pretty much brought a situation in where he was making people be ahead of other people by taking money for stuff like that. Now, that's a conflict of interest, and yes, he should have been reprimanded for that. But if you felt that he needed to be fired and be gone, okay. But I'm thinking that should have been behind closed doors. Instead of in the opening and making him feel less than. Okay. So I'm going to move on from that. I said my piece about that. Um, let me see. Brian. I said enough about Brian. Because Brian has definitely showed up. Showed out. Put his life on the line. Gave us some uh, public service announcements. About substance abuse and getting help and all that. This, that and the third. Kudos to him. I mean he's trying to be an entrepreneur. He made a deal. He did what he had to do when he came on the show. He just advertised, advertised, advertised himself and what he wanted to uh, happen for his future. He manifested it. He put it in um, action and motion. And he did the work. And so now he has a sweet deal with Candy uh, and Todd. But it seems like mostly Todd because he said he signed the contract with Todd. Which I think he should have got a lawyer. Review that shit and make sure nothing was going to be coming up on the opposite side. That it was a coastal, uh, a coastal type contract. But Brian's old enough and he should know better enough to if he had really thought out his business plan for his uh, soul food roles. You know, just because Canada is an option, they ain't the only, you know, um, possibility in town that you could have gotten because if it were me i would like mm, i don't want my right you could sell my uh ed rose in the um olg camp but i really want my uh truck i need you to invest in that as well because you're taking 50 percent allegedly of the proceeds as well or the business i should say but i guess everything just came so fast and he really has put his trust in todd and hopefully todd won't screw him and this that and the third with a uh, a 360 contract, if that makes sense. Because I'm kind of comparing it to, you know, when you sign on as an artist in the industry. And they give you that 360 ways contract or something they be talking about. And it's just not kosher. It's like the person that's putting up the money and the liability is getting the majority of the money. And you're seeing pennies on a dollar. Okay. But hopefully Candy won't let... Todd screw uh, Brian over because you know we don't need him to be falling back and getting his feelings and taking up that substance abuse thing again um, but that was pretty much it with that one uh, Brandon I'm like uh uh we, you just need to get Shandrika the job that Brandon has because Brandon don't know how to do Jack City from inception of the first episode to the very end of the episode because he pretty much threw his so-called girlfriend under the bus even though i think don need to pay attention and be more focused on her career if that's what she wants because you can't be a dancer you know when you hit your 40s and 50s you kind of look stupid but you know then again who am i okay but it's like for longevity, you need to be really hustling and getting into as many um, shows or acts or dancing experience, uh, op you know, getting opportunities to be with these artists that are out here, you know, uh, touring and, and doing concerts. And you need to, you know, stack your money up that way instead of actually being a bartender 
and want to can this uh tallest establishment i mean when you're not doing anything you're free whatever i'm pretty sure they'll have you like a seasonal type employee you're gonna make it do what it do um but candy has connections and she needs to really be trying to help you in that realm since she bought you on and you really have been dedicated you stayed with her <coughs> and hopefully you know she could set you up because she knows people can't know everybody right about now so let me see who else we can talk about uh, we talked about phil we talked about torn we talked about brian uh who is it we talked about todd we talked about candy um uh, shoot i don't think there's anybody else y'all that we needed to talk about um i don't think oh oh well i, well, I did have a, something to say about uh dominique and brandon's relationship chaplin i look for you somebody else don't get caught in that smoke and mirror thing because you know if he throw you over on a little job situation then what you think he would do if he saw somebody else better than you dom honey you got it all you a full package you need to be searching for higher ground but that's just me that's just me because I, I i i don't like nothing uh brandon was giving us he just gave me uh just tall lanky and lazy and and and, and just full of shit. you know what i'm saying but then we got um for the last piece uh patrick and safari or marion whatever okay to me she seems to be her nose is so snooty. Her life is so snooty. And she wants to control Patrick. And I don't think Patrick is a... Um, what do you call, well, he is kind of whip to the situation. But I think he understands what and how he wants to flow in Safari's life. You know what I'm saying? He could probably be... You know, maybe we see a side of Safari that... He don't... Well, we don't get to see the side he sees for safari because what she's been giving us is just pure bullshit and entitlement and she thinks she wants to run everything and i'm like you know if that's what you want if that's your cup of tea then you can't say uh later on down the road when you actually get married to her y'all start having a fallout because she pretty much been showing you who she is and she called you a trick and all this kind of stuff and you know she didn't blink her eye and she didn't care if candy hurt her or not or tar so I don't know. I'm, I'm like, yeah, you got to watch them quiet, Miss Honey. He'll put you on child support. You have a baby about you, put you on child support. Then leave you behind and, and call you stupid and all kinds of uh, other crazy names. I don't know. And then when his mother was saying she likes Safari. But like I said, maybe Safari has two faces. You know what I'm saying? She shows us this face on television. She might be sweet as apple pie, you know, off, off camera. But I, I, nah, I, I just didn't like her attitude from the first episode to the very end. She just was doing too much, you know, just too much. And the whole thing about um, not letting um, Shandrika come in with June into an apartment that's supposed to be Melvin and uh, Patrick. But how they showed it or how they cut it and edited it, it just made it seem like it was just um, Patrick's apartment. I'm like, okay, where are the bedrooms, okay? Because to me, the whole little shindig looked like it was only for one person to be staying there. So I'm like, what, where the hell is Melvin? Why didn't we see more of Melvin? So I'm like, we don't need to see Patrick uh, Unless it's here and there. If y'all do get a season two. I need to see. And I want development on Melvin. Y'all always had Melvin in the damn kitchen. Sweating and, and carrying on. He ain't had no hair net on. Now I did like that about Patrick. He had his hair net on. But just because Melvin is bald headed. And Melvin still needs his shelf hat on. Or he needs to have a net on. I'm just saying I'm keeping it real. Cause don't nobody want no hair in their food, okay? Don't nobody want no sweat in their food, okay? Just don't mix. But I was kind of upset that Candy or the production people, the editing people, did not give us a feel of who Melvin was. Okay, you don't told us Melvin is a good person. You don't told us he's a sweetheart. You don't, you know, all this stuff. But we didn't get to see him speak enough. To even know anything about him. His comings and goings. What he liked to do outside. Of. You know work. Who he hang with out the work. 
you know, what his love interest is. Just, you know, just like y'all were giving us Patrick, we need to see uh, what Melvin is like. So, if you get a season two, I would like that development, that storyline to give him some time to shine. Because he's much more, and I'm pretty sure he is much more than just a damn cook for y'all. Okay, I'm just saying. I mean... Where was Melvin at the seventies party? Did anybody see Melvin? Hell, I did. Okay, maybe I was out looking at something else, or I, I don't know, but I didn't see Melvin. Okay, um, I think that was about it, cause uh, Patrick, no, he got his shine, and he kind of made himself look stupid, even though I'm with Candy, he was not stupid. He was just playing a role and just trying to see how many people thought he was unintelligent. But I think he was just playing a role. And I ain't going to say he was just being funny acting or whatever like that. I think he knew what he was doing. He wanted to paint another picture. He was playing a role. And we really didn't get to see Patrick in his full role as well as who he's, you know, who he is. Because you can't be playful all the time. You got to have some serious side to you. And to me, he should have been uh, definitely showcasing like Brian was doing. Every chance he could have gotten, he should have been promoting, promoting, promoting this poo perfume or poo cologne or whatever you call it. He should have been, you know, chasing it down like Brian. Every time you saw Brian in an episode, he was either making rolls, warming rolls, uh, you know, his, uh, what you call them? Egg rolls or whatever. He was doing the thing. And I was like, okay. I need to check them out. I need to see what's going on with them rolls. Because every time I damn see Brian, he waking up talking about rolls. He going to bed talking about rolls. He in the toilet talking about rolls. God damn. How are those rolls off? You know, he made me want to actually. And I'm sucking on a lozenger, guys. If y'all hear me smacking. Because my throat is a little sore. And I think it has everything to do with the allergies outside. But you know what I'm saying. Brian was doing that darn thing. And I'm like, I, I, I wasn't mad at him. Hell, if I had the extra money, I'm like, here you son. Here you a little bit to get you started on whatever you want to do, brother. Because you sold me. You sold me. Now, the egg roll might be shit. But I am willing to taste that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just because you sold it. And I'm like, go ahead. Do your thing, Brian. But... I don't know they have to come up with something else because I think it'll get kind of boring if we start to just see the same thing develop for season two. If, you know, Candy them get a season two, which I wouldn't see why they wouldn't. Uh, because before you crash and burn with a show, you would still want them to get a second episode to see was it an improvement of the first season. You see what I'm saying? Have some compare and contrast there. But I definitely wouldn't want to see uh, Brandon back on. Now, we can have Dom on if, if, if she, you know, she could take without Brandon. You know what I'm saying? But I want to see nothing with uh, Brandon. Because she got on my damn nerve. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I think that's pretty much it. But if y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. If they make a season two, I'll definitely try to review it. Even though I ain't get no shout out from Don Juan and Candace team, they missed the mark by not coming over and being entertained on my platform for me reviewing the gang, gang, gang. Okay? Yes, but it is just what it is. It's their mistake. It's their, their mess up. And I'm going to continue to shine over here. All right, on my channel with my family. Yes, because I know y'all love me. Y'all support me. And, um, uh, yeah, um, one of my family members, I think her name is Yummy, um, uh, my Yummy Bear, girl, and there's no membership over here, and I, you know, cash out, you know, only way I would do that is if I'm still doing YouTube, and I'm 62 years old, and I'm still up here trying to make y'all laugh and make it do what it do, yeah, I need my coins then, because, I'll be retired. So, anything extra, just as long as it don't go over what a senior citizen is supposed to make, then y'all can cash out me. Y'all can send me money. Y'all can do everything, send me gifts and all of that. But right now, I'm entertaining y'all. This is what I like to do. I will continue to do it as long as we have a forum here at YouTube. And uh, we can make it do what it do, okay? We'll make it do what it do. But no, there's no membership at this time. No cash out, none of that. Just, you know, keep me in prayer. Um... 
with my endeavors and um and my health and stuff of that nature and that goes a long way very much so than money can so that's all i have to say guys and i will see y'all next video bye bye